engineering is to research to design to build improve structures and machines components materials and processes and there are some who fall in love with this stream of innovation and development to the extent of dedicating their lives for the cause of engineering we are fortunate enough to have such a phenomenon amongst us Mr Anil Shankar Gupte the prodigy with over 50 years experience in the sphere of engineering the trend setting flag bearer of Pune Shims well it started in 1962 and uh, i worked for tata motors and victor gaskets between 1962 and 1972 if my father never wanted me to serve in fact in those days those people wearing specs specs uh, were not given the government service but that was primarily the motivation came from my father and another part of it is realization that there is a very good scope for starting your own even with very little capital and the motivation naturally i look forward to people like jrd tata sl kirloskar and that is how i thought it will work the first and foremost challenge as far as all the entire entrepreneurs are concerned is uh, raising the capital as the banks would never give you 100% and so the question of raising the capital i somehow or the other through friends and relatives it was managed at the same time i sold used to sell toys in the market and earn the living because there was no point in taking money from the business which was started newly well in 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 1972 when we started it, the tuna pressing private limited was known as united industries by 1976 it was turned into a private limited company and that is how tuna pressing private limited came into being but when we started we started with items like washers lock plates filters shims etc for big companies like tata tata motors kirloskar cummins india limited garware nylons greaves and so finally uh, we developed almost about more than 500 components strong business ethics and transparent values eased sailing through rough waters towards further journey even during times of industrial unrest on realizing the mitigated domestic responsibilities of his soulmate a strong advocate of women's emancipation mr gupte encouraged mrs shubha gupte to don the robe of entrepreneurship she was thoroughly guided at every stage of the business involving every minute activity from technical to commercial and handling of sales to development of man managerial skills the incubation period was utilized by mr gupte to develop the ptfe teflon oil seal as an import substitute this span of time posed challenges for the company as mr gupte set out to develop the import substitute oil cooler these components were basically imported into india from usa and japan which was very expensive and that is one of the reasons why cummins india approached us because we had the full knowledge 
that of the sheet metal component and they felt and they had full confidence in us that we will be able to produce the oil coolers and that is what motivated us primarily it was a huge big challenge to develop this product and it took us nearly 5 years to develop it but in the process we also developed our own technology tremendous amount of finance was necessary but we could manage it and at the same time ensure that our future became bright but this was possible only with the team that assisted us they were a dedicated group of people they still continue to be the same and i am sure in future also they will do the needful without my presence in the factory it was the dawn of a new era as the company was pushing across new horizons the overflow of orders demanded a business expansion and Pune Shims was raised to a 75000 square foot structure in 1990 the development of import substitute oil cooler in rural area was a commendable achievement and was duly recognized by the government of india by conferring the rajiv gandhi award on mr gupte in 1994 it was followed by ISO 9001 certification from BVQI in the very same year. The tech-driven approach adopted by Mr. Gupte called for state-of-the-art machine imports and advanced software to create families of oil cooler with over 120 varieties available till date. Special emphasis was laid on R&D activities as the company made a successful foray in the overseas markets. Manufacturing of customized products with the existing no MOQ policy proved to be the main competitive advantage in the aggressive export trade. During this period, Puna Pressings Private Limited was shifted to Chakan Industrial Area. Growing market competition was fiercely encountered with expansion, restructuring, re-engineering, a financially self-sufficient approach and introduction of new products. I read about it in a European magazine, an article by Bosch and then thought that this will definitely be India's next priority whether the and how long it will take the government to implement it. So we thought that we will uh, start the development because no material was available. Then there were a lot of difficulties regarding availability of material and uh, technology also was new to us. And we, between the period 2003 and 5, we developed it. And uh, now is the time that uh, government is going to implement it, we will benefit from it. And being ahead of others it has always been our motto and we are following that. Well, the journey of this product was a bit difficult because unleaded fuel was not available in the Indian markets. At the same time, there were no buyers, but Mr. Abhay Firodi of Force Motors came forward and he also felt it necessary to incorporate AGR coolers in their products and uh, we started the development for him and now everything is in its place and we are get definitely ahead of others and doing it but all our thanks to Mr. Abhay Firodia for having uh, implemented the EGR coolers in their products. The visionary septuagenarian started the current decade with simplifying the task of the industry with the manufacture of ready-made sub-assemblies for the customers. An avid book reader Mr. Gupte is influenced by the business philosophy of Robert Bosch and has drawn inspiration from luminaries such as J.R.D. Tata 
एंड शांतनु राव किरलोस्कर फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम माय मीटिंग विद जेआरडी टाटा एंड शांतनु राव किरलोस्कर बोथ विजनरीज ग्रेट विजनरीज एंड इट वाज रियली एन एक्सपीरियंस टॉकिंग टू दीज पीपल एट द सेम टाइम अनदर गोल्डन मोमेंट इन माय लाइफ वाज when the first oil cooler came out of the furnace on 27th of september 1987 young engineers i will advise in a very simple manner first of all dedicate yourself to the job assigned to you don't consider that this is not my job or don't say that this is simple or this is not my area of working in fact in my case i was asked despite being an engineer i was asked to handle accounts which i never refused and this is what is important and don't to say that i get less salary or such thing they will automatically come but you must be dedicated that is very very important young entrepreneurs should first take experience it is not right on their part to start working immediately on their own projects first of all they must get real experience somewhere else that is very important because when you want to run an enterprise you must know each and every aspect of the manufacturing manufacturing does not mean only production it covers production accounts stores purchase everything excise every aspect of it must be known to you starting with a workforce of 17 in 1984 today 500 employees empower the group with all three units combined together Mr Gupte is deeply concerned about the welfare and well-being of the employees on a personal note and this is reflected by the virtue of a high rate of employee retainability in addition to the working organization Mr Gupte has been instrumental in engineering many social reforming activities and leads by example in maintaining a perfect work life balance Mr Gupte reinforces the fact you are what you think and you create what you conceive We as a generation are indebted to Mr Anil Shankar Gupte the visionary the reformist because success stories are not built overnight they are engineered